Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're taking a biology class with Daniel Tiger and his sister. It's called the Our Generation Life Science Set. We're going to learn about some organs inside your body. And the organs are actually removable like a little puzzle. Let's get started and open it up. We have a little white biology textbook called The Wonders of Life. And we also have a diagram. And this is called our anatomy torso. And the last object is called a molecule. And a molecule is made out of different kinds of atoms like oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. Let's have a look at the biology book. Oh, it's blank inside, so it's a notebook. Listen to the teacher and take your notes. Let's have a look at the torso. Come on over, Daniel and Margaret, so you can have a good look. Do you know what these are, the front tiny fans? They are the rib bones and they protect organs like the lungs. And you'll see the little lungs, oops, slide it back up, are these little pink things. Oxygen enters our mouth and our nose and goes into the lungs where it enters our blood. There's the diagram of our lungs. Now we must take care of our lungs. Try not to breathe in toxins like smoke or car exhaust because it goes into our bodies. Now this is the heart and the heart has red blood and blue blood and blue blood doesn't have oxygen in it. Red blood does. The heart pumps blood throughout our whole body. Now this is the liver. It removes toxins from our body using vitamin K. And in order to get vitamin K, we need to eat greens like kale, spinach, and lettuce. If we remove the liver, there's another organ right here. And that is the stomach tiny fans. And there it is on the diagram. So you eat your food, it goes into your mouth and then it travels down something called the esophagus into your stomach where there are tiny little enzymes that digest your food. And then after, it goes into your intestine. There's a large and a small intestine. And your large intestine is actually almost five feet long as an adult. And the intestines absorb nutrients from your food. So now I need to fit all the organs back into the body. And there's the lungs. Hmm, how do they fit in here? Uh, there we go. And then the, oops, the rib cage keeps them all together. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.